All right, guys, so I'm back. Sorry it's been so long. If you've been following the community post, you'll probably know I've been away on holiday in Jamaica. And then as soon as I got back, I was right into work back on my nights. So I just haven't had a chance to get any videos done. So I'm finally getting around to doing one now. There's going to be quite a few reviews coming up after this as well. I haven't quit or anything. So that's why I wanted to get this one out first. Because hopefully this won't take too long to do. Because this is just an unboxing and first impressions pretty much. So I've never bought a Zelos watch before. I've always liked the look of them, just never got around to actually picking one up. They've currently got a launch special price on quite a few of the new models, so I decided to pick up three. Why get one when you can get three? It's alright, I can justify it, I've got a watch channel. That's why I started it, just so I can buy more watches. Anyway, let's get down to the first one. So, it's really nice that they come in these watch rolls. You don't get a, just a useless box, you get an actual usable watch roll, which I do really appreciate. And it's a really good quality one as well. And there is the first watch. So you can see these actually slide in and out. They don't just clip in or anything. Different to the ones I've had before. Different to the one I got from AliExpress that you've probably seen on the channel. So I do sometimes struggle a little bit to get these out. I'll get used to it eventually. So pop this down to one side for a second. And I'll quickly show you how these cushions work as well because they are quite good. I do like the way they adjustable, depending on how you've got your watch sized. It's a nice little touch. So that bottom bit will actually pinch in if it needs to. Because sometimes you can struggle to get watches back on once you've resized them. So again, attention to detail with the case. And that carries over into the watches as well. It's just the attention to detail, the little things. It's what sets Zelos apart from a lot of other brands, I think. So unless I'm mistaken, this model they have actually released before. They've just re-released it now. This is the Swordfish 40 mil Teal. So, it's all about the dial with this one. Really lovely textured dial. And that nice sunburst effect as well. And again, just the attention to detail. That colour match date window. And just really nice finishing overall. Nice angular case shape. Nice turned down lugs. So it conforms to wrist nicely. Then when it comes to the clasp. This is another really nice one. Got that Zelos logo on there. Nicely finished double pushes but we haven't got any micro adjust it's because it's actually on the fly adjustable which is just great i absolutely love it plenty of adjustment nice and easy to adjust no issues whatsoever and as i've said in previous videos that i've checked out with watches that have these on the fly adjustable clasp once you've tried them it's really difficult to go back to a watch that doesn't have it so that's part of the reason why i picked one of these up as well well three of these up that's what it looks like from the top. When it comes to the case back, quickly show you that. As I say, this isn't a full review. I'll do full reviews of each of these at some point. Nice swordfish on there. Fairly plain. And we've also got quick release as well. Which again, is a really nice touch when it comes to bracelets. Sometimes can be a little bit fiddly to get back on. No such issues with this one. But now, let's check out the next one. Because the next one, I don't think you'll have seen before. As far as I can tell, no one else has reviewed that one just yet. So obviously it comes in the same packaging, as do all of them. And here it is. So you might think you've seen this one before, but this is actually the Ember Orange. But it's got slightly different hands in disease to the one you might have seen before. So quickly take it off this cushion, pop that to one side. And then I'll show you this in a bit more detail. This is the one that initially caught my attention when I was looking on the site. So, got that really nice black loom on the hands. And also on the indices as well. In terms of the specs as well, with these two, they're both 40mm, both 12mm thick, both 20mm lugs, and both 46mm lug to lug. And they both have the NH35 as well. I might briefly show you the loom on this at the end, because it is pretty cool. And, but obviously, as I say, this isn't a full review. When I do the full review, you'll be able to see everything properly once I've tested these out thoroughly. And again, we've got the same case back, same clasp. I don't know why, but for some reason, the dial is coming up more yellow on camera. It's actually more of like a kind of pale orange. Obviously, my camera's having a bit of trouble picking up the exact colour. But again, just a really nice looking piece, I think. And as I say, this is the one that drew my attention when I first looked at the site. I'd always had my eye on the teal one before that, but as soon as I saw this, I just had to get it. Now, with this third one, this is something totally different. 
This is what they're calling the swordfish field. So this is brand new. If you're not keen on this particular dial though, they do actually have different ones as well. So you should be able to find one that you do like. And there's a few little differences with this compared to the other two. So in terms of the dimensions, they are slightly different. This is 38 mil as opposed to 40 with the others. Thickness is the same at 12, as is the lug width at 20. The lug to lug is shorter though. It's coming in at 44 instead of 46, but it has the same on the fly adjustable clasp. And also the same case back design and also those quick release spring bars. But the case is actually ever so slightly different, as you can probably tell. Another big difference with this one is that it's got an NH38, not an NH35. So the no date specific, which is fitting for the dial. Do appreciate that they've done that. It's not always the case. So obviously this is more of a field watch design. So quite a bit different to the other two, which are more divers obviously. So it is interesting that they've called it the swordfish field, as opposed to doing a completely different model. It'd be interesting to know down in the comments what you guys make of that. Would you have preferred if they'd done a totally different model? Or are you fine with it being just a kind of fork of the swordfish? So here's the two different models side by side. So as you can see, noticeable difference in terms of that diameter. And obviously with that bezel being on the diver and not on the field one, that makes a big difference too. But it is interesting they are actually the same thickness. Because putting them side by side, I would have thought the field was a touch thicker. But I guess it just looks thicker because it's 38mm, so it's a little bit more squat as opposed to the more stretched out 40mm of the diver. But it is just interesting either way. Okay, so it's come to that time. I've teased you guys long enough. Let's show you what the loom's like on both of these. So we've got the frost field on the left, and then we've got the amber orange on the right. Let's quickly charge them up, give them a fair chance so you can see them in all their glory as well. I have to admit, when I first did this, I was blown away by just how good the loom is, especially considering they're fully loom dials. Like, just look at that. How impressive is that? Particularly with the ember orange on the right. That thing's like a torch. The frost field definitely lives up to his name though, with that nice ice blue. I'm really loving that too. And obviously with the black loom on the hands and the indices, nice contrast. So, really impressive. My first impressions is Elos. Definitely haven't disappointed. I'm really happy with all three of them. I just had to get this video out soon because you guys know Zelos watches sell out really quickly. So perhaps even by the time I get this video out, some of these might have sold out. So hopefully I can get this video out before that happens. But that's it for this one guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.